Mantras. I'm Tanya Maddox and I am the publisher of the Mantras Daily Press. And in the MDP studios today, we have Katie Jurgensen and Emily Sanchez. Let me tell you, this dynamic duo, it is going to be a fun, <laughs> fun show with these two. But before we get started talking about the fabulous new event center, I would be absolutely remiss if I did not thank the folks at Elevate Fiber for sponsoring Mantras Matters. Elevate Fiber, thank you very much for bringing Montrose Matters to the folks in Montrose. Now, without further ado, Katie, Emily, welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so you've had coffee, right? Are we caffeinated? We're good. We Absolutely. Are. Okay. So are you always caffeinated? That's what I want to know. Yes. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely in the morning. <laughs> you know... I have seen you two and known you both for about a year, and I have never seen a down moment, okay? There is so much energy, and when <laughs> I found out I was going to have both of you at one time, I didn't know if I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> so I have coffee, and I am ready to talk event center. Okay. All right. Awesome. I love it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes. So at some point, I know that they're going to grab my cue cards and start interviewing me, um, but I'm ready for it. <laughs> Katie. Yes. Do you feel like you just birthed the baby with this new event center? Um, truly, uh, my second child was easier than the event center. <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite a bit, actually. What does that say, Montrose? <laughs> if I can say that. No, no, she was an easy baby. She is an easy baby. But okay. um, this has been a long time coming, and it's something that we truly are so excited for. It's just, I mean, like you said, just like childbirth, it's a really long process. Right. Um, so we broke ground in January of 2017, and we're about to open next week. That's amazing. <laughs> well, and it was um, almost exactly a year ago that you started the, or a little over a year, you started the planning process, right? Yeah, I think we presented our business plan to the commissioners in mm -hmm. mid-March. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so we've been full steam ahead since then, oh my trying mm -hmm. to get the details in place. Kind of when it truly, though, it was passed in November um, of 2016. Um, I believe the date was in November. But this has actually been, an event center, not this particular design, has been discussed for, I mean, almost a decade, um, oh, believe it or not. So it's been kicked around um, for quite a while, knowing that, you know, there is kind of a need for this facility here. So it, well, it's exciting. It sounds like it. I know you have a lineup that is all ready to go through 2018. Um, so I want to talk about that in a second. But uh, Emily, is this the largest project that you have been a part of? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking, you know, when am I going to get to build another $10 million facility? <laughs> because I learned a lot. I could really put that to use. So this is definitely the biggest project I've been involved with. Good. Okay, she is not asking to be recruited, guys. So she's not <laughs> uh, able to leave Montrose. It has to be a $10 million project in Montrose, <laughs> for sure. No, but um, you did. You learned a lot, right? Yep, definitely. I mean, I, I came from the National Western, so a very similar facility um, in regards to the events we want to draw and everything. But as far as getting that building, like, truly standing has been quite a process. I bet, I bet. So uh, rumor has it that, I don't know, one of your favorite acts might be Justin Timberlake? Are you, we trying to bring him here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would not turn Justin Timberlake away. I don't know that he would be my favorite or my go-to, but yeah, if he's willing, I totally, I'll sell tickets. We'll take it. Yeah. Okay, yep. Love that. Exactly. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, but um, in all seriousness, when we come back, we do want to talk about the different variety of events and acts and so forth that we are going to be br uh, bringing to the event center. And don't you love the way I said we? <laughs> I already feel like I own it. It's guys. a team effort. It, it is. is your facility. I love yeah. that. Love that. We'll be right back. Here in the heart of beautiful western Colorado, known for its unrivaled outdoor recreation, bountiful harvests, and unparalleled quality of life, changes are being made. Elevate Fiber is transforming the way we work, live, and play by creating exciting new opportunities for local families and businesses. Are you ready? Welcome back to Montrose Matters. I'm Tanya Maddox, publisher of the Montrose Daily Press. And in studio, we have the lovely Emily Sanchez and Katie Jurgensen <laughs> from the county. We are talking all things event center. 
So I uh, threw a little question at it. was a joke, Emily. I know you won't turn down Justin Timberlake, but um, now in all seriousness, let's talk about some of the different acts that are coming and that you would like to bring here um, to experience the event center, for all of us to experience the event center, but for them to perform. So who are we bringing? You know, I don't, um, I can't release those names yet. We tentatively have it scheduled for September 28th. Um, we're like the, the offer's been put on the table and we're waiting to hear back. So okay. um, as soon as I have those details and I'm allowed to release them, we will. But it is an artist you'll hear on the radio. It so. is. Oh. It is a, yep, yes. frequently. Okay. Frequently. Yeah. All right, we're gonna keep going by and then pull it out, pull it out of them, you never know. <laughs> so the Montrose Matters audience is growing and I'm believing that if I could broadcast from the event center, you know, and could you guys fit in what, 5,000, 6,000 people? We can do 6,000 people. 6,000 yep. people? Yep. Okay, folks, I think that we try and test this out. <laughs> so, no, with um, all of that said, this, this is massive. I mean, I joke, but um, 6,000 people. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. there's an opportunity to host a really significant event in Montrose right now. Right. Yeah. And um, do you believe long term that the 6,000 is going to be enough? Um, I hope not. Honestly, <laughs> I hope not. I hope we have reason to build a whole other set of bleachers on the other side. Um, I think that's what we're mm -hmm. probably working towards. Okay. Um, I think to get to the 6,000 people initially is going to be a hard trek, too, but okay. we are we are going to work for it. Well, I have seen um, this community do amazing things, and I believe that they're going to come out in mass to support the event center and the different events that you have there. So you'll get to that 6,000 number in no time. Hey, Montrose, let's show them sooner than later that <laughs> we're going to support this event center. Um, so I want to know, what has been the biggest um, learning experience for you? Oh, wow. That's a good question. That is. I think, um, well, I have so many because we're taking on so much more with this one. Um, you know, I think we're bringing in a new promoter with the Monster Trucks. His name is Ed, and he's been in the industry for well over 40 years, correct? Mm -hmm. um, so he has a lot of experience that we're kind of learning off of, mm -hmm. um, and he has been huge in kind of helping us mold our everything we do and figuring out how to have a successful event. On top of that, we are literally selling liquor at the event center. Um, oh, so that's we, new. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have our it own is. liquor license. Um, it's off the original deeded property, so we have the ability to do it. Um, but basically, I'm opening a bar, so figuring right. out those logistics, those details, has been a huge uphill I bet. battle. I didn't um, even mm -hmm. think about that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. which will allow you to bring in different acts that are uh, more a little more diverse than what we've had at the fairgrounds in the past, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it gives us another revenue stream to kind of help support the facility, but. It also, it adds to all the entertainment. I mean, most of the time people like to go out and, and have a beer with their entertainment. And right. so we'll be able to provide that service. Or a glass of wine. Or a glass, okay. yes, yes, it totally depends wine. on the event. I still have monster trucks in my mind. So I think of beer. Well, and I've had the pleasure of chatting with Ed, so I just, uh, I'm glad you're working with him. You know, um, one of the things that this community uh, does not know, and I have just recently learned, is the um, the staff, the amount of staff that we even have at the event mm -hmm. center. So you're going to be surprised by this number, mm -hmm. but Katie, how many staff members are five. on the fairground? Five. Five. Five, five total people. Five. <laughs> I'm sorry, five. Right. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. For all of those events? Well, not just events, facilities. Facili yes. I mean, Friendship Hall, meeting rooms, the outdoor arena, uh, the event center. It's a lot. That is amazing. How do you do it? Um, I have an awesome team. <laughs> uh, truly, that is, that's what's getting us by. We've just put together this incredible group of people mm -hmm. that is really talented, that can multitask, that can take these things on and kind of prioritize. Um, our goal is to truly, you know, get enough events in the event center that the demand warrants another staff person or more. Mm -hmm. um, we are able, thanks to the sheriff, to use the jail crew a lot. Um, so we, we try to leverage those resources to the best of our ability to keep the facility up and running, um, to keep everything clean, make the events go off. 
but yeah, it's it's a huge undertaking for five people. I can't even imagine. I know that um, we have had several events at the at Friendship Hall, and we have some scheduled at the new event center. And I'm surprised by how accommodating your staff is. And you would assume that you had 20, 30 people, because no matter what time we asked to have it open or ready, what mm -hmm. time we asked to have it locked or closed or you know able to come through, your team accommodates. And to find out that there are five of them and all I get, you know, it's like, sure, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> you always make it happen. That's amazing. Yep. I mean, they are, from the moment they get there to the moment they leave, they're literally running. Um, so they beat every government stereotype <laughs> that you could ever so imagine true. with my really? team. And I, I love yeah. it. I'm so proud of them. Oh, that's wonderful. Gosh. Okay. So this dynamic duo, when we get back, I want to talk about something very fun. So we'll take a quick <laughs> break. And good morning. Welcome back to Montrose Matters. I'm Tanya Maddox, and in studio we have the lovely Katie Jurgensen and Emily Sanchez from the county. And uh, I know they're tired of me calling them lovely, but they <laughs> are on every level, you know. I, I don't um, often get to work with people who have such a great work ethic and will get down and do just the nitty gritty and then you can be on a talk show and look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling. Aww, I love everything. Thank you. About it. That's You're sweet. Welcome. Okay. So um, what I want to know is what were some of the big surprises? And just the building of the event center, the, um, the you know, um, coordinating different acts and so forth. What were some of the surprises? Give us some dirt. Come on, Katie. I, I mean, everything is a surprise. <laughs> no, no, seriously. <laughs> like, the, the, they knew that this was, you know, this project was coming around. Um, they knew that this is what we were going to work with. But every little thing, like we did the, um, the groundbreaking ceremony, we, we still learned a few new um, uh, I guess you could say kind of tricks and tips. We had a change of our board, um, and yeah, so we everything has been new and different for us. It's it's really exciting. Okay, so I led with give me some dirt, and you didn't even pick up on that. <laughs> give me some dirt. The dirt has been surprising, hasn't it? You mean floor. like the arena footing? Yes, the arena yeah. Footing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I, in my own mind, I'm funny. Okay. <laughs> it's a big. Okay, so if you want to actually literally talk about the dirt, our arena footing is a really big deal. Yeah. Um, it is something that. I, this is going to sound strange here. Um, <laughs> you, no, you you we paid a contractor to come in and find the perfect blend of dirt. I mean, dirt is a big dirt. deal. It is. It's really <laughs> special. <laughs> I can honestly say I have never heard in my 18 years of doing this that dirt is a big deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's super important. Wow. Okay. Yep. So, but it is, um, it's unique. It is, you can pack it tight, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And you can literally walk on it. And I think my question was, can I get my three-inch heels on the dirt? And the way that, you know, it's packed, it's perfect. Yep, we are going to mm -hmm. test that out with you. Okay. Yeah. I will be Let's there. Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but were you so obviously you did a lot of research. Did you have any idea that dirt could do all the things? That <laughs> um, just based on my experience at the National Western, like I, I knew okay. that we could pack the floor really hard and and have really nice events um, mm -hmm. without laying anything out. Um, so. But I knew we also needed that dirt, and that's mm -hmm. where we brought in um, the consultant. And he literally went around to all the gravel pits and everywhere in Montrose just looking for this special dirt. Wow. Um, so we were able to get this, and it's going to be kind of the make or break for the event center because we can go from hosting a really competitive equine event mm -hmm. to a multifunctional event. So, that's so wait, it's all Montrose dirt? Oh, we got it. <laughs> we got it. it is local. <laughs> I Pretty love much. That. <laughs> it is. That's just about everything about that facility is local. We had a local contractor, yes. a ton of local subcontractors, um, and that's really great for our economy, truly. It is. Um, it is. But one of my tours, one of the women, actually, I was so impressed by this. So we walked out, and I was talking about the dirt, the arena footing, <laughs> um, and how important it was. And she looked at me and she was like, I know exactly what that is. And uh, yeah, she said that is Shavano Valley red clay. And I was like, <laughs> whew, all right. Wow, that is impressive. So, yeah, yeah, it's a portion of it, but okay. that, it's extremely impressive. So, how, um, if you have any, um, uh, did you call it an equine? 
line or is it a question? Uh, ah, are you there? <laughs> these professionals. <laughs> if you have a horse show. Exactly. Yep, athletes, absolutely. Um, and then you have a banquet the next night. What's the plan? How? Um, literally, we would go in the night after the horse show, lay down a whole bunch of water, um, and then the next day come in through with a roller like you would see rolling asphalt and, and pack it down. Um, nice. So it's just going to be the combination of the moisture and the equipment to make it happen. Okay. Um, we do have a little bit of a learning curve as far as the time management on, on how long that will take, mm -hmm. but it's doable. Mm -hmm. Well, Sydney, we have to get out there when they're rolling that and packing it down and get some photos. Okay, so um, rumor has it there might be a, a floor coming too. We are. We're in the process of acquiring like a temporary floor that would snap together a roll out to cover the facility. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. We're tentative in it because it takes a lot of labor to get it out and get it up um, as well as storage space. So we're trying to figure out those logistics before we truly invest in the floor, okay. but it is something we're going after. See, I told you I would get something out of it. <laughs> okay, now, who's going to hum a tune of something I might hear on the radio? Darn! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to break, I promise you, Montrose. <laughs> yeah. No, um, any other surprises regarding the, um, the event center? And I, I mean, I don't think surprises. I think I, I hope it will meet pe people's expectations. This is a really large facility. Um, you know, as we've, we've discussed in the past, and if, if anyone's been on a tour with me, you've probably heard it, uh, the commissioners invested $1.5 million in additional capital expenditures this year. So, I mean, we are truly, this is like a top-notch facility. We have a full commercial kitchen. We're adding 196 shed row stalls. Um, that's actually a huge revenue stream is one thing that we found um, during our business plan. So there are a lot of other things that they're adding. Um, we have fiber. We have fiber. Thank oh. you. Yeah, we have fiber. We're really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elevate Fiber. <laughs> Love it. Well, I will tell you this. Um, an announcement is coming soon, but we are hoping to bring a very large festival um, mm. to the event center next May. So more to come on that. Katie. So you have your own secrets. I, yeah. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Katie and Emily, it has been such a pleasure. Um, we want to congratulate you on the new event center and the entire team and the commissioners. But guess what? Only you two are getting gift certificates. So you two go have a steak dinner at Ted's <laughs> on us. Um, but congratulations. Thank you, Katie. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.